everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Maruko hosts her uncle. <laughs> I've only got this left now. Uh... What is it? What's with all the sighing, huh? What's wrong with you? Well, my New Year's gift money has just vanished without a trace. I'll call it the case of the missing New Year's gift money. No, let's get real. Money doesn't just disappear on its own. You spent it on silly comic books, toys, and worthless cheap sweets, didn't you, Maruko? Oh, yeah, that's right, I did. Come on, sis, why didn't you just stop me from buying those things in the first place? Don't you dare blame it on me! Indeed, it is Maruko's own fault. The next day. Hey, I'm home! <laughs> huh? Do we have a guest? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Maru-chan. Uncle Ichiro? Uh, good to see you, too. Your uncle has come to visit your grandma and grandpa. It's been far too long since we've seen him. I had a day off from work. Ah, well, that's very nice. Come on. Maru-chan, it's cold outside. Come over here and warm up. Oh. <laughs> yes, come on. Oh. <laughs> Ichiro, so how is everyone else? Everyone is just fine, thanks. That's the only good thing. I am glad to see you're both doing so well, Mom and Dad. That's the only good thing we have, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't relax like this. Uh, I usually lie down to watch TV after school. I guess I can't do that right now. It'll be a bit cold, but I guess I could go to my room, lie down and read a comic book. Uh, oh? Where are you going? What? I'm going to my room. Maru-chan, good girl. Huh? Going to do homework straight after school? You're very studious. Well, uh, I just... Both Hiroshi and I just spent our time playing outside when we were kids. Maru-chan is independent. Right, Sumire-san? Uh, well, she isn't that independent. I remember Ichiro and Hiroshi went outside to play right after they got back from school every day. I remember you only did your homework at night after being lectured by your mom. Yeah, that's right. So Maru-chan is really studious. Oh, no, I just... What should I do? I have no intention of doing my homework right now. I want to relax. All right. Let me give Maru-chan some pocket money. <gasps> pocket money? Really? This is great! Yippee! Yippee! Oh, no, you don't need to do that, Ichiro. <laughs> Hey, Mom, don't say anything to spoil this for me. Nah, it's really great of her to do her homework right after school. I insist. Besides, we never know if she really does her homework. <coughs> Please, put your wallet away. I bet you're thinking about reading a comic book right now. That's my mom. She knows me too well. <laughs> She's very strict. Your mom has lots of rules, doesn't she? She, she does. All right, I've got it. I'll give you money after you've done your homework. Oh, uh, well, that's just... <laughs> What's the matter, Maruko? Weren't you going to your room just now? 
Yes, I'm going to do my homework. Ah! Huh? What's wrong? What's the matter, sis? Don't tell me you're actually doing your homework. Yeah, I'm doing it. What's the matter with you? Did you eat something bad at lunch today? How dare you think the worst of me? I might actually want to do my homework sometimes. Well, it's never happened before today. So what's going on? I'm really offended by that. Oh, man, why did I get so much homework today of all days? Mr. Togawa should be more considerate of my needs. That is none of Mr. Togawa's concern. Come to think of it, it's been a long time since Uncle Ichiro visited. Grandma and Grandpa looked very happy. I have information for you. You have information? M-O-N-E-Y. Mm. Uncle said he would give me pocket money when I finish my homework. What? Huh? That's right, sis, so you better do your homework quickly as well. So that's why you're doing your homework right now. Absolutely right. Is that something you should say so proudly? But it seemed like he was about to leave. Huh? Are you leaving already? Yes, I'd better get going. But Ichiro, Hiroshi will be back very soon, so why don't you stay for a bit longer so you can see him? You haven't seen Hiroshi in a long time, right, son? That's true, but... Please, stay and have dinner with us. But I came here with no notice. Stay, Uncle. Uh, Marachan. I have my reasons. Oh, what I mean is please make yourself at home and stay longer. Dinner will be something simple and plain. It's nothing fancy, but please stay for it. I'm sorry it's so simple and plain and nothing fancy. You see that? Maruko doesn't want you to leave, so you just have to stay. She's glad to see you after such a long time, right, Maruko? Uh, yeah. Is that so? Well, if Maru-chan says I should stay for dinner, then I guess I have no choice. All right! <laughs> I must say, I'm happy to see you so excited about me staying for dinner. All righty, I'm going to go back to do the rest of my homework then. <sighs> I'm going to do my homework. So transparent. Oh, boy. At least the road to getting pocket money is still open. <sighs> All done. What? Did you say done? with my homework. See you later. No! You're all done with homework? That's no good. I better hurry up then. Finally, I'm done. Bye. Never in all these years have I seen Maruko do her homework so desperately. This must be the same feeling as when workers earn a living through sweat and tears. No, it is completely different. Uncle Ichiro, I'm all done with my homework. Huh? Sasaki chan is a hard worker, isn't she? Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, she really helps Mother a lot around the house, you know. Yes, indeed. I'm so impressed. Saki, will you mm -hmm. set the table? Of course, Mom. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Sis, she went to help Mom after she finished her homework. No way, sis. Are you trying to earn pocket money for yourself? Hey, Mother! Huh? I will bring everyone the sake. Can you handle it? Hi. Oh, Maruko, are you going to pour sake today? Mm. How nice of you. Let me see. On an occasion like this, I should... Dasa, would you like to have some sake? Uncle's name is Ichiro, so... Isa, would you uh. like to have some sake? Hey, Maruko! Where did you learn that nonsense? What? On TV. <laughs> Calling me Isan is, well... What? No good? Of course it isn't! I can't believe you. <laughs> Maru-chan is so funny today. I'm home! Oh. Hey, look! Dad is home already! The heart of Shimizu is, is known for its beauty. <laughs> <laughs> we used to play Jirocho a lot when we were kids, didn't we? We ended up fighting because we'd argue about who would play him. I often ended up playing the main character myself to settle the matter. Don't take the credit, Dad. You enjoyed it a lot, if I remember. Yep, that's right. I did. <laughs> <laughs> they seem to be having a really good time tonight, aren't they? Yes, yes. It's good that they are having fun together. But I don't want them to forget about the essential matter. Huh? Well, it's no use to be on the defensive. I must take an offensive stand. <sighs> <sighs> hmm? Uncle Ichiro, you have stiff shoulders. I can give you a shoulder massage. Oh, my, you're so good. Uncle, does this feel good? Ah, yes, that feels great. Maru-chan, you're so good at this. Well, in that case... Okay, I'm next in line then, Ruko. I think my shoulders have been very stiff lately. We can't have that. 
Maruchan, I'm good now. You better give him a massage. Then make it strong. And then give me one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't plan this out right. Her offensive stance was a big failure. Well, I'm sorry I stayed so late. <laughs> Don't worry about it at all, brother. Please feel free to drop by any time. Yeah, that's right, Ichiro. You should show up here more often, okay? Come back soon. I'll be waiting. Okay, I'm glad I came today. See you. Oh, but wait, Uncle! Huh? I just wonder if you've forgotten anything important. Anything important? Um, I've got my wallet. Uh... Oh, that's right. I haven't given money to Maru-chan and Saki-chan yet. Oh, I didn't mean that at all, Uncle. That's exactly what you meant, wasn't it? You shouldn't give them any money. If he says he wants to give them money, then let him do it. Honey? Yes, that's right. I promised to give them money. So, just a minute. Uh-oh. Hmm? I'm sorry. I only have a 10,000 note. If I give this to you girls, then I won't be able to get home. Sumira-san, will you change this for me? No, it's really not necessary. You don't need to give them money or take the trouble to get change. If that's the case, then it can't be how Sia said. I'm so sorry. Saki-chan, Maru-chan. Uncle, don't worry about it. Go on, Maruko, tell him. Uncle, promise to bring change next time. I don't believe this! And that's how Maruko's mission to get some pocket money ended up in failure, despite all of her hard work. In this episode, friendship in the marathon race. The marathon will be held tomorrow. It's finally here. Uh, I wish it'd snow heavily tomorrow and force them to postpone it. But in Shimizu, we can't expect to have heavy snow. We rarely have it. Yeah, you're right. And anyway, even if it is postponed, we have to run someday anyway. I don't want to have this gloomy feeling of doom linger any longer. Yeah, you have a point there. Oh boy, the marathon race is so depressing. Yeah, it will be a very unpleasant day. Nagasawa-kun, would you like to run side by side with me tomorrow? What? Why would I do that? I think we can keep our energy up all the way if we keep supporting each other by running together. I wonder about that. I don't think I'll end up having more energy because I see you running next to me. I don't agree, um. Nakasawa-kun. I think Fujuki-kun is right. Even if I get a cramp or a stomach ache on the way, I think having each other's support will make me keep trying to reach the end. It's a really good idea. Yumani-kun? Fujuki-kun, if it's all right with you, I'd like to run with you. Huh. Let's do it. Come on, man, let's do this. He's right. The three of us should run together. Fujiki-kun, although you're enthusiastic now, you aren't going to turn your back on us if something happens. <clears throat> Come on, man, he would never do that. Stop being so mean. <laughs> I seriously doubt it. Uh, I won't turn my back on you guys. I won't do that. Really? If so, then it's all right with me. Let's do this, the three of us together. <clears throat> let's do it. You know, I would probably feel more encouraged if I ran with you by my side. I agree. What Fujiki and Yamani said actually makes a lot of sense. Tama-chan, shall we run together as well then tomorrow? Hmm, all right. Let's do it then. <laughs> so you see, Tama-chan and I have decided to run the race together tomorrow. I see. Well, do your best, girls. But I should warn you that someone is very likely to end up breaking that kind of promise. You see, the day before a big test, friends often promise not to study for it, but one of them always ends up studying, and they get the good score. Self-preservation always wins out. Me and Tama-chan are different, okay? You never know, dear. When I went fishing with Yama-chan the other day in the lake, he said both of us would catch something big. Yet, at the end of the day... I think this is a different matter. And the next day. The third year students should gather at the starting position now. Both boys and girls are to run at the same time, but the ranking is separate. Maru-chan, you earned a certificate of award in second year, didn't you? Sort of. I mean, it was painful to run, so I wanted to reach the goal quickly, and I ended up running hard. I wonder if I can keep up with Maru-chan today. Don't worry, don't worry. Let's just try hard together. Uh, but don't worry about me, okay? If I fall behind, just go and run ahead of me. 
All right, but let's try our best to do it together. I will run with you guys today. What? Uh, but, but, but why? Do you not want to run with me or something? I don't mind, but I... Uh... Then it's a done deal, yeah? Let's try hard together. Yeah, yeah great. great. <laughs> I wonder what our rank will be when we finish the race. Sure. Mm. I guess the finishing order doesn't matter as long as we just finish. So are you saying that you don't mind finishing in last? Uh, no, I don't mean that at all, man. If the three of us encourage each other, we might be able to finish within 50th place. Yeah, I think so, Yamani-kun. On your mark, get set, go! Out of the way, out of the way! Huh? Hurry up, you guys, or I'll leave you behind. Understand me? <laughs> Maida-san, are you all right? Keep trying. Remember, we've just gotten started. Uh, I know. Uh, I know that, okay? Good luck! Hey, isn't our pace too fast to start out at? Uh, I think so, too. What? You think so? <laughs> Huh? Uh, even the girls are running hard. We'll be last if we keep this pace. Uh, Nakasawa-kun, Fujiki-kun, we have to pick up our pace. We must fight on. Then why don't you go ahead and run ahead of us, Yamane-kun? We're gonna run at this pace, aren't we, Fujiki-kun? Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, do you really want me to betray my promise to you guys? Hero me. Oh, Midas son's grandma's here too. Hero me, try your hardest. Uh, grandma, uh, all right, let's pass the three people in front. Midas son, you better not push yourself too hard. That's right, you'll be exhausted in no time. Sasayama son, Nagasawa kun, Yamane kun, let's try our best. What? All right. Hey, wait up. <laughs> Yama-san, fight on! What's he doing, a winning pose? He gets on my nerves. I know. You didn't think about keeping a proper pace. That's right. You ran too fast at the start. You guys, listen up. We're friends running together, so I expect you to give me your support. Huh. So you have no words for someone who's suffering just like you are? How cold-hearted of you. You were the one who asked us to run together, remember? Yet you run at your own selfish pace. I can't put up with you. Uh, how dare you? Fine, then. <laughs> well, I won't support you guys when you get exhausted. Okay, great. That's fine by me. I'll be honest. The lack of your support won't give me any trouble during this marathon race. Uh? Mamaru-chan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. I couldn't help running hard as soon as I saw Sasayama-san. But I've reached my limit. <laughs> but I can't ask them to slow down now when I set the pace. Yes. Why don't I claim that I have a stomachache so that I can call it quits? fujuki Uh, what is it? Are you thinking about faking some sort of sickness so that you can quit the race and abandon us? <laughs> What are you talking about? Whoa! Oh. Uh, 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 put it on quickly. Oh, thank you. Fujiki kun, we're almost there. Let's keep trying. I. I'm. I'm ashamed of myself for being such a coward to even think about quitting. <laughs> I, I promised my grandma that I would try my very hardest today. And I heard you guys say that Sakura san was so fast and she earned a certificate of award last year. So if I ran with you, I thought I could finish within the top ten or so and make her proud. That's all I wanted. All right, I see. Okay, stop crying now. Let's run together. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. We can all try together, okay? Uh, but, but I, Sakura-san, you said you can't put up with me. I apologize for saying that. I'm sorry. Hey, let's do our best together now. <sighs> then let's run. <laughs> hey, are you all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You can all do it! Come on! This way! 
You're, You're almost, almost there. there. <laughs> Tama-chan, Maida said, are you guys all right? Maida-chan, don't worry about us. You should go on ahead. What? No way. Sakura-san. Yes? I'm sorry. Well, I know I'm holding you back right now. But Sakura-san, I want you to get a certificate of award for yourself. Maida-san. Promise us. I won't let you guys down. I'm doing this for all of us. Here. I did it. I came in ten. Tama-chan, Maida-san, I did it. I got a certificate. <laughs> Hang in there! The next one will be the 50th for boys! Did you hear that? The next one will be the 50th! Yeah, it's the rank we all aim for! Well, Asaoka, you can go ahead of me! What? I can't do that. Your monica should reach the finish line first. No, no, I've realized that I'm not the kind of boy that is worthy of 50th place. Just what kind of boy is worthy of 50th place? fujuki kun you should go ahead. I owe you everything for just reaching this point. No way, Yamani, you deserve this more than us. Far from it. Go, Nagasawa-kun. I decline your offer. <laughs> uh. huh? Yay, yay, I got the 50th place. <laughs> uh. Hey, what's the matter with you three? Why don't you guys just run over the finishing line? You're right there. <laughs> Being close friends is a beautiful thing. I hope they won't get discouraged by this and keep fostering their friendship. Uh.